messed up dogs. No, I'm just kidding. Welcome to Tutorial Talks 3, guys, and this is fucking take 4. Because I messed up my audio last time. Okay, here we go. Um, efficient twixter syncing, which means putting your shots on the beat of your music in After Effects. So here's a quick preview. preview. This is my Optic Lowy edit. Uh, it came out really good, synced a lot of stuff. So yeah, in the end, it's gonna look like this. This is the clip. Um, <clears throat> uh, to save time, because I want to keep this short for you guys, I'll copy this uh, pre. Uh, yeah, I, I I already pointed out the beats on this track, which is not hard. Just go zoom in and go to the drops and just mark them. But just to save time, I'll just copy it in to my new composition. Okay, so get your new composition. Uh, 59.94 frames per second. Just make it whatever length you feel like. I'll copy this in. Okay, press LL to open it up. And just skip forward. Why not? I don't know. I'll just do it on some random beats. Be sure to check out what beat you're going to sync on. If you do it too quickly, too so shortly, it will mess up and you can barely see the clip itself. So keep that in mind guys. Insert your clip. Uh, first thing you want to do is <coughs> sorry, zoom in a little, go to your first kill and I'll do it quickly. You guys should take your time and skip frame by frame by pressing command arrow to the right and until he shoots and then split the layer by pressing shift, command and D. Go to your next kill, do the same trick and go to the next kill, same trick, same story, same story. Okay, this is slow, come on. Okay, he's gonna shoot there. Too far, too far. Okay, he's shooting there, so split the layer again and last kill. Split it again. Okay, there. So, you have your beginning. He's walking towards the first kill. You have your first kill, second kill, third kill, fourth kill, fifth kill. Um, next thing you want to do is select all your clips. Press L. Drag it all the way down so you don't get any slow-mo sound. And then you want to right-click. Go to frame blending motion, pixel motion. And go to time and I will enable time remapping. Um, yeah, go to your first beat. I assume you can make those your. Uh, 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 sorry, I assume you can mark your own beat, so I won't have to do that for you. So yeah, just skipping that part. And drag your first shot onto that beat with all the clips selected. Then go to your next beat, like that. Select the next clip, press begin bracket, so it will automatically snap there. Next beat. Okay, I'll just use this one real quick. And again. And again. Okay, so now I got all my shots on beat, but as you can see it's really choppy. And you don't want that. You don't want that at all. So. Next thing you're gonna do is go to your first clip, insert your Twixter Pro, insert the right frame rate, which is really, really important, guys. Be sure to do that. Keyframe uh, it at 100% speed at the beginning of your clip, then go to the middle of your clip and keyframe it down to around 3 or 5. Then you wanna Go to the next clip by pressing shift and moving the time indicator, it will snap automatically to your next clip. And then press command arrow left, left arrow, so you go back one frame. Then you want to speed up the twixter to the part where he's going to shoot his next kill, just before it, by the way. So, here's right before he's going to shoot. Oh, fuck, I did just. What did I just do? Okay. So this is right before his shoot on the first clip. Now I'll go to the second clip and he's gonna shoot. So that's a smooth transition, right? That's what you want. That's totally what you want. 
So, <laughs> insert the Twixter on your second clip as well. Same frame, insert the frame rate, speed at 100, in the middle down to 5. Go to next clip, back one frame, and just drag it up where to where it's gonna shoot. So it's gonna shoot right there. See, that's really easy, right? And this is the most efficient way to sync on After Effects. There are a lot of ways, but this is the most effective one. The most, uh, yeah, how, you gonna, how do you want to say it? Uh, the most, the best one for your frames. It's not blurry or real bad at all. So yeah. Okay, next kill. Speed up the fr the speed. And there we go. Oh wait, this is one issue. Here he shoots. Now I go to the next clip, and he's going to back. He's going back one frame, and he's shooting again. So be sure you're not going too far with your speed. So he's gonna shoot there. See, I'm doing this really quick. You sh guys again should really take your time for this. Oh, damn it. Did I just do something wrong? No, I didn't. Okay, so twist it to your next clip. Frame rate. Speed it. You keyframe the speed at 100. Go to the middle, keyframe it down to 5. Go to your next clip, back one keyframe, speed it up. Do it shoots. So that's around there. Okay. So that's. Now it's on beat. Uh, but since we did all the sound, uh, we mute, muted all the sounds of the clip, we'll have to insert our own gun noise. And I know this noise is quite uh, not loud, sorry, don't know the word. So I'll just turn the volume up. Now, what you want to do is go to the beginning of each clip where you kill someone and select your clip. Uh, your noise and press begin bracket so it snaps automatically there. Then command D to duplicate and repeat the trick. Repeat the trick again and repeat it again. Again. Okay, so this should do it. Um, I'm not gonna add some CC or Twixter in the end because this is only about the efficient Twixter syncing. Okay, so while it's rendering out, guys, please follow me on Twitter. I'm quite active on there. For regular updates, there's always a link below in the description. And also leave some comments and a like below, please. Um, likes really appreciate it as I'm trying to help you guys. And feedback is always welcome. And ideas for net future tutorials are useful as well. So please, while it's rendering out, Take two seconds to scroll down a little and leave a comment and a like, please. It's really appreciated. Okay, um, yeah. So, it's rendering, rendering, rendering. Um, also, I'm doing this quick again, so you should really listen to your beats you have, so you won't mess it up. <laughs> Okay, this is just previewing. Wait. Okay, there we go. Why is it so slow? Come on, I have 16 gigs of RAM. For fuck's sake. Okay, this is just weird. This is just weird. Quarter. We'll do it like that. Sorry for the quality then, but yeah. I have no other option. I have no idea why it's doing so slow. Probably because I had it on all day, but yeah. But um, you should take your time to sort out your beats so you won't do it too fast. Because if you do, you sync it too fast, you barely will see the clip itself because it has to fast forwards in such a huge amount. So yeah, take your time, guys. <laughs> Okay, the video isn't cooperating right now, but I hope you heard the Barrett shots on the beat of the music in the background. I really hope you do.
it does work. Uh, that's how I did this video, the Optic Lowy one. So guys, uh, yeah, leave a like, leave a comment, leave some feedback, leave some, yeah, whatever, ideas. And I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you could follow it and I hope you will be able to use it in your future edits. Guys, this was Third Floors. See y'all later. Hi.